How to make wedding RSVP website using Wix Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can make wedding RSVP website using Wix. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Wix, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Wix, it is a cloud-based platform that enables users to create and manage websites with ease, even without technical expertise, in which it features an intuitive drag-and-drop builder, a vast selection of customizable templates, and a variety of tools tailored for different types of websites including business, e-commerce, and personal blogs. And users can enhance their sites with SEO tools, mobile optimization, and integrations from the Wix app market. And now to start by clicking the login button or the get started button, you will be directed on this page. And to start creating new site, just click this button right here. Then you will be able to be directed in here, in which it will ask you to set up with AI or without AI. But in those options, I'm going to set up without AI. I'm going to click this one right here, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, just enter the type of website that you want to create. So let's say I'm going to enter here, wedding RSVP. Then kind of click on this result, then click the continue button to proceed. In which upon clicking on it, it will show you right here that your dashboard is now being prepared. So all you need to do is to wait for it to load, and after that, you will be directed in here. And then on this pop-up window, all you need to do is simply enter the name for the event. And at this point, I'm going to enter here, wedding website. Then proceed by clicking the continue button to proceed. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to enter what type of event are you hosting, your dated event, or registration only and I'm going to choose this registration only to collect RSPPs and set a waitlist and after that just click the continue button or skip button then from here the next thing that you need to do is to simply set the time and location in which from here you could enter the date of your wedding and also the time in which it will start or the event will start and after that below here if you scroll down and select where will this event take place so I'm going to choose physical location then below here you can simply enter the address now from here, the next thing that you need to do is to simply choose which tool would you like to add to your website. We have here event schedule, email marketing, online store and many more. And after selecting your answer, just click the continue button and from here, all you need to do is to click or choose to design your template using template or get a custom built site. But in those options, I'm going to choose to start with a template. So kind of click in here and upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page in which it will show you a variety of templates for wedding RSVP. And all you need to do is to simply choose to any of these templates that you want to customize. And as you can see, each template has different kind of layouts and design. And in those options, I'm going to choose this one right here. So kind of click the edit button to proceed. And after that, you will be able to be directed on this page, in which it will show you on this pop-up window that you can enhance your website using AI by simply entering here the details about your site. Then just click generate site text button below here. Or alternatively, you could also manually customize or edit your website. And to do that, kindly exit in this window. And from here, you will see on the left side panel some of the editing tools that you can start navigating. We have here add elements to add section, pages and menu, site design, add apps and many more. And now to start, you could also zoom in on this page. To get a larger picture, to start editing any of this page, you can also click this quick edit right here. And it will show you on this right side panel that you could also start customizing or editing including the section background, the strip background, and any other included on this page. And let's say we want to customize the strip background by clicking this change button right here. We will be able to be directed on this page. From here, we could also click this image to choose what kind of image we want to upload from our computer files or even search for some of the photos offered for free on this Wix. So for instance, on the search bar, I'm going to search for couple picture and upon clicking enter below here it will show you the result of the couple picture so i'm just going to select to choose what kind of picture that we want to replace the image with and after that just click the change background button below here to proceed and upon clicking on it it will show you right here that the image is now uploading so all you need to do is to wait for it to load and after that from here you will now see the changes of the picture and aside from image or other media files, you could also customize the context that are included on these templates. But before that, if you also want to manage an event in here, we can simply click the manage event button right here. And which upon clicking on it, it will show us right here on this pop-up window 
under events that has been published, there is no publish events in here. And if you want to add one or add event, just click this button add event right here. And upon doing so, you will be able to be directed in here. And under event type, you can choose either ticketed event or RSVP event. And since we're making wedding RSVP, just click this RSVP events right here. Then below under general info, you can simply choose to enter the event name. For instance, I'm going to enter here after party as its event. And after that below here, you could also enter a short teaser or description about the event and event category if you want to. And also images that you can upload from your computer files or even search for an image that you can find or offer for free on this Wix. And after that, going back on this page right here, we could also enter or customize the date time with your single event. And from here, you can customize the time, when to start and when to end. And also select or enter here your location or physical location if you want to. So for instance, under this event location, I'm going to enter here the address or venue name, for instance, New York. Then just click the result below here to proceed. Then click create drop button on the top right corner. And after successfully creating the event drop, you will now be able to see here that the event has now been saved. In which you will see here the name of the event, the overview, settings, features, promotion, guests, and many more. And to publish these events, just click this publish event button right here or the publish button in here. And upon clicking on it, you will be able to publish the after party event that we just customized or create earlier. And after publishing, we can now proceed by going back on this page right here. And as you can see, the event has now been updated. From my event in here, it became after party, which include the details including the date and the time and also the venue of the place. And to customize or visit other page, just click the page button on the top right corner to do that. However, you could also customize this website using the website panel editing tools such as to add elements right here to add text, image, button, strip, decorative, gallery, box, video and music, interactive, list, embed code, and many more. In which you can simply add all of those elements easily since this platform offer drag and drop interface. And aside from that, other than elements, you could also customize the section if you also want to add section right here, including welcome section, about section, gallery section, and many more. Under the site pages and menu from here, you could also customize some other pages that contain of these templates. Now going back on this page right here, you could also use the quick edit to do that or to customize some other details in here. For example, this context right here. By clicking on it or highlighting all of this context, we can simply choose to customize the font style, the font size, color of the text, and even customize the whole text by entering the context that you prefer. And if you're not done customizing this website, you can simply click the publish button on the top right corner. Then proceed by clicking view site in order to see what the viewers will see if they try to visit your wedding RSVP website. And this is basically what they will see, including the sample event that we just customized earlier and other elements that included on this template. And aside from that, if you also want to have an upgrade account on Wix to navigate some other features, you can do that by clicking the upgrade button on the top panel. Then from here, it will show you some of the plan offered by Wix, including the corresponding prices and list of benefits it included on each plan. But overall, that is just basically how you can make a wedding RSVP website using Wix. Thank you.